On Thursday, Discovery's crew will once again examine the space shuttle's skin to make sure it wasn't damaged in orbit. The crew of the space shuttle Discovery will, will be executing the uh, late inspection uh, to, uh, to clear the thermal protection system for, uh, for entry. At the same time, a new space station crew launching from Kazakhstan will be making its way to the station for a docking on Saturday. The crew of Discovery said goodbye to the current space station crew before undocking on Wednesday. I'd like to say uh, thanks to you and your crew for an outstanding mission. You've made the space station much better than it was before. Space Shuttle Discovery's crew fixed the space station's urine recycler on this mission. That machine turns urine into drinking water so that the upcoming six-person crew has enough to drink without anyone needing to launch a large and heavy water supply. The shuttle is carrying samples from that machine back home for testing. That will allow us in probably about a month or so uh, to make the call on, uh, I'll say, the drinkability of the water. The departing shuttle crew took this spectacular video of the newly upgraded space station. After this mission's addition of the final solar arrays that will add power for science research by an expanded crew. Well, I basically, we've been working on space station for 15 most or so years, and it's uh, you know you, you always saw it in the in the pictures, uh, and you just wondered if you're really ever going to get there. It seemed like it took us 10 years. Um, but uh, there's an extreme amount of pride and joy uh, in seeing that. It's getting, it's getting to feel like we're really getting ready to turn this thing over to the research community. Space Shuttle Discovery is scheduled to land back home at the Kennedy Space Center on Saturday at 1.43 p.m. Follow the latest on the mission at Space Flight Now. I'm David Waters, spaceflightnow.com.